What's happening, you guys? This is John John of John John Games. In this um little short video, I want to discuss you all about thumbnail design. Um, when it comes to thumbnails, um, I want to give you all my tips on designing thumbnails. I know most of the thumbnails on YouTube are are not um not that great to be clickable. So you, if you want to make clickable thumbnails, I'm going to give you guys this little short information on thumbnail design so you can make better thumbnails, get more clicks and views. So I'm in Photoshop right now. I'm using Photoshop. You can use any photo editing editing software that that has color correction features. Um for me, I highly recommend Adobe Photoshop. This is, a, this is the software I use to create all my thumbnails. Um, you can see in my layout right here, I got four different folders. One for text, one for logos, one for color correction, and one for background. The current background you're seeing is from the Life Strange gameplay that, that's going to be premiering this Sunday at 12 um, at 1 o'clock p.m. So, and, and I added three different color corrections for the adjustments tab and the logo and right now I've got no text. Alright, so when it comes to thumbnails, you gotta think about what size thumbnail do you want. Do you want a 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720? Um, the highest resolution for thumbnails is 1080p. So uh, right now the thumbnail size for this particular thumbnail is 1920 by 1080 at 300 ppi. ppi stands for per pixels pixels per inch so um so i got this done now there's not the, no color correction to this at all it's just a screenshot from the when I went to go to edit this, I took a screenshot in the gameplay, then I brought this into Photoshop, it's got no color corrections at all, just a simple bland little screenshot. So I went ahead and uh, added a brightness and contrast. Um. Color correction, I set the brightness to 12, and I add the contrast to 100, set the contrast to 100. So let me turn off these other ones. So with that, it'll give me this. And now for the curves, I just made, and for this one, I brought this, brought this bottom one here to just in just a little. Then I drag this one not all the way further down in here. You can copy my settings. And that will give me if I re enable if I re enable the brightness contrast, it will give me this effect. So this is Without the curves, with the curves. With brightness and contrast, without brightness and contrast. That makes a huge difference in this thumbnail. And the next one is, is the hue and saturation. I just the the lightness to negative 16, and it'll get me this kind of effect. So we enable brightness and contrast, we enable the curves, and I Put this one, it'll give me this awesome effect. So, if I disable the color correction folder, that's without color corrections, with color corrections. See a huge difference it made? Try experimenting with the color corrections. That will get... It'll find and find that perfect result for your thumbnail. It'll I promise you it will get you get you clicks. Then I went ahead to add a logo to 
that left hand corner if it's a gameplay to, or original blog or whatever content you're creating do not put the logo at this bottom right hand corner because right here in the bottom right hand corner is the timestamp when you want to upload a video upload a thumbnail a timestamp will be at this lower right hand corner you want to put that area from adding adding text or the the logo or whatever the case may be He's top three corners, right hand top corner, the top left hand corner, and the bottom right corner is fine. Just avoid this area. I'm going to upload the thumbnail. It's going to it's going to have a timestamp. If you put right there, it's going to, the timestamp will cover the partial of the text and the logo. So we want to avoid that at all costs. Now I want to add some text to this thumbnail. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the type tool. I'm going to right click, uh, left click, and. Okay, so this is too big. I'm going to adjust it to like 72 points. Now, this. You can change the font. Uh, if you want to get different, different fonts, I highly recommend the font.com. The font.com. You can get. Great um, fonts from there, from that website. The ones that are in stars, these are the ones I currently use for my thumbnails. I'm going to use... I'm going to use the famous new. I'm going to backspace out. The, when you go to left click the text, in Photoshop, we will come up with the default um, text as lorem ipsum. On the backspace. So you want to hit backspace. Make sure it's highlighted first, then backspace. I'm going to type in some default text. Default text. Um, no, let's change it to... I'll try this one. I'm going to type she saw the she saw the photo. I'm going to type in the photo. I don't want to put it, um um, sex, because that, that's the easy way to get a thumbnail taken down. So we go. She, she saw the photo. If I can spell it, then I'm gonna press Control on my keyboard. Press Alt. And just click and drag it down. Or you can alternate. The text. I'm gonna press control and rotate this a little bit. I'm gonna alter the text. Okay, press. Press the check mark to confirm. Move tool. Press Control T. And press Control Alt. Uh, Control Alt to alternate it. Crap! I went too far, didn't I? That's good. That looks good. Press enter. Now control T. Rotate it this way. I'm gonna go right click on the text in the layers panel. Go to blending options. I'm gonna add a stroke. I added the size of whoops. We're gonna adjust that not 21. I'm gonna set it to 7. 
Then I'm gonna add a drop shadow. Whoops, too much of a distance. That was from a previous for the thumbnail I was making for the Grand Theft Auto Online. Then we got ourselves a drop a really nice dark shadow font um text. Um, I'm gonna put it somewhere. Try. It's right here. Then we just need to press Control T and just resize it down. If you were gonna ask me why I put the photo and not the actual saying what she said, um, what Juliet said, the reason why is it depends. The sex, that's the easy way to get something out taken down. So, if you want to avoid using, um, sexual words, inappropriate words, you want to avoid that. You want to replace it with something, make it unique. So this is a thumbnail um, after what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save As, Save On My Computer. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to make sure I save the type as a JPEG. Life is Strange. I'll call this Life is Strange thumbnail. I press Enter to save. It will give you the JPEG options. We're gonna, I'm going to keep it the same as this. The format baseline, keep it standard. Or you can optimize it. Uh, I'm going to try to optimize to see what it does. And make sure your preview is ticked and we want to make sure it does not exceed the, the thumbnail size to upload on YouTube is 2 megabytes. Make sure it's below 2 megabytes. As you can see here, it's 145.3K. If it's above 2 megabytes, I recommend, I, I recommend compressjpeg.com. Link to that website will be in the description down below for you all to check. If it's over 2 megabytes, like if you're using somebody else's um, color correction pack, um, if it's over, like, example, say if you're, you're saving an image and it, it comes out as 2.3 megabytes, that's because of the, the, the color correction. Any type of thumbnail packs, any type of thumbnail pack will travel as something megabytes. But make sure it doesn't exceed the 2 megabyte upload size for YouTube. Only way to resolve that is export it out as 2 point something megabytes. Go to, go to the link in the description, compressjpeg.com. Just drag and drive over the, um, you can drag and drive onto the converter. It'll, it'll upload it and it will convert. Upload it, you probably, it's gonna optimize it. Optimized to um, um, ninety percent, but it won't, so it will not lose any of the quality. It's just going to compress it, so we can make the file size a little bit smaller. But this, I'm going to click OK, and it's saved. Now I want to save this to my um, Creative Cloud, so I can use it for future use. So I'm going to just file, save as, I'm going to save it to my cloud documents. In order to save it to cloud documents, you need a Adobe account. Which you can sign up for a free account. All you got to do is go to adobe.com. I will, I will leave a link in the description where you can sign up for a free account. I'm going to click save to cloud documents. I'm going to save as the same thing. And you can see these are, these are my, um, Creative Cloud files I have on here. So once I satisfy with my title, once I create a title for the thumbnail, I'm gonna create, create, uh, click save. It'll save. It'll say your document name. .psdc. It's a PSD file. file. When it has a C at the end, because you save it to the cloud, it'll show us that PSD Photoshop document cloud. It's a Photoshop file, but it's but it's on your Creative Cloud, so you know where it's at. But it's always if you're gonna save it to the cloud, it's gonna show up as a .psd PSDC. Um, I hope this video helps you out a little bit, y'all. Um, try 
experimenting um on depression. Try 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 to eat try try by the way. See if it helps. But welcome to to copy my settings, you know, welcome to I might release a a starter thumbnail template pack that I can release to y'all but it's gonna require Photoshop. If you don't if you cannot afford Photoshop there's like other editing um photo editing so softwares there's GIMP there's Inkscape there's um PicMonkey um there's um paint.net there's many photo editing softwares free free of them that are available on the web on the internet but for me I always use Photoshop to make my thumbnails But other than that, you guys don't. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, make sure you hit the like. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed with notification bell, so so you don't miss a, miss a single upload stream or or premiere. You come to this channel. Also, don't forget to check me out on BuyMeACoffee.com if you like to support the um, the content creation I'm creating for for y'all. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server. Also, also, don't forget to check out Patreon, where you can get exclusive benefits from early access to sponsorships. Also, don't forget to check out um, my blogging and reaction channel. I'm going to be start uploading, get that channel back up and running again. So, so don't worry, guys. I will get that channel back up and running. Also, don't forget to check out my other social medias and other related links in the description so you can stay connected with me. Also, I, um, I'm on PlayStation, and my PlayStation PSN will be in, um, username will be in the description. Also, my Xbox, so you can add me there. Other than that, you guys, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video.